Hello world! Welcome back to the Banana Soups channel. And today it's a special pieces and I'm going to talk about the little game called Slap City. As you can see the gameplay footage right now, this is a game made by Ludosity. Uh, Ludosity? Who the hell is that? Um, they are an independent game company has made a lot of different kinds of puzzle games, puzzle action games, and a lot of, not a lot of, but some sort of shoot them up game. They have like some, a lineup of games that kind of interact with each other in terms of characters and those kind of things. So some of their famous works is like uh, Princess Remedy in the World of Hurt and uh, Idle Dew series which is a puzzle game in a sense but it's actually quite okay. Uh, so anyway, Slap City. Uh, this game is like the all-star smash clone should I say clone? Okay, this clone is not the right word. Uh, this is the platform fighter made by Ludosity, uh, which is like... It has a hybrid of Smash 4 and maybe a little bit of melee because there's like wave dashing and canceling and those kind of thing and it was kind of crazy to know that. Um, it's a pretty solid game. like. I didn't expect this game is going to be good, but it was a lot better than I expected. Like, you can pull up some crazy gameplay with this game, and all those legacy skills you had in the Smash and all those platform fighter can be um, delivered here. Uh, I think there are some little differences, like for example, there's no um, shield drop I remember? Yeah, that's the thing that I don't- I mean, I'm not that into the platform gaming genre, so this is basically a very fresh take for me. But, uh, as a game itself, it's a really solid game right now, as a gameplay. As a platform fighter, it's really, really good. Like, there's only five play- uh, five, uh, usable character. And there is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 stages for now. But all the stages are pretty, pretty good to play. There are like three stages that are like good for tournament, and the other nine is for basically uh, the casual plays. And other than that, there's also like a party mode, like slap ball and those kind of things. Um, but as a game, it's just a solid game. It's like it has a vibe of the melee and it's a vibe of Smash 4. So it has kind of mixed it up both. And I kind of feel like it's actually really good in some sense. And this is the I think it's one of the first platform fighter for in the indie game scenes that really have grab and ledges and all those mechanics that used to have in the um, Smash. And I think they did a good job of differentiate themselves from the Smash series, which was good. So, yeah. Uh, if you are just want to play a uh, platform fighter that is not Smash, uh, or you want to play a platform fighter but you don't, you can't play Smash because you don't have a 3DS, a GameCube, or a Wii U, um, or a switch because uh, everyone know that Smash 5 is going to switch so by the way it's definitely going to be a new game not a port but anyway um, if you just don't have those consoles to play the Smash this is a good 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 one to actually get into this is what it actually felt it's a really solid game. Um, some of the downside might be like, uh, since it's like an indie title, you don't expect this game to be uh, high-end graphics and those kind of things. 
uh, I just think it can be better with the modeling of the characters but I mean it's indie game so I don't really expect it to be better than this this one is like it's already expressive enough uh, the 3d modeling for the character might be a little bit ra uh, eh, eh, not not that good but it's like they have like different kinds of the stages that like the stages that representing the game the, the game they had like the heartland stage which is um, very good representation of princess remedy series and they actually did it really well and then there's also some classic stages that they did like the slap cd version of the final destination i forgot the name i think i think it was castle of nine or those kind of thing and they tone uh they kind of toned down different stages in different kinds of tone and styles and colors to actually make them different from the, each other so yeah I think it's also a very good clone of Smash in terms of like the casual play because it's like there are some stages that um, that has a hazard in the game like for example there is a bust stage where um, actually there's no ground but it's like if you are on the road you can get hit by the bus or be hit by the helicopter on the top and if you are actually on the road you it, you are just constantly going to the left so you need to get back on on the bus or on the car and those kind of things like it's a very good like casual game in a sense because different stages for different kinds of needs and those kind of thing and I'm really liking this kind of things I think this is a very good take for Ludosity to actually try this formula and I actually hope that they will be able to do more of this so final judgment for the slap city I think it's a really 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 good adaptation of the smash game into the indie game formula I think they blended really well the aspect of the melee and the aspect of the Smash 4 all together. This is my feel. This is what I felt after I played this game, and I think that this is a game that can um, impress those casual players because there are different kind of stages that are casual friendly and it can also um, impress those um, hardcore player because there are some legacy skills and the stages that are um, basically made for the competitive play like the casual of nine maybe the, or the final destination of slap city um, so it's five dollars right now it will go up to 10 and 15 at the, as the final game and they have only five characters but they're going to add three more and there will be more stages and more contents for this game uh, it now has the online mode which is kind of good I play with my friends uh, really have no big problem on the net play and those kind of stuff and I just think that it's a really good game so anyway uh, it was my first impression from three to four hours of gaming with this slap city and I really think that this is going to be one of the games that I'm going to play a lot from now on so yeah check it out it's five bucks on five dollars on the steam pay in steam and if you actually like their stuff there's also a free game called princess remedy in the world of hurt this is that is a free game so grab slap city and then just play one of their game like princess remedy and you will have a one real real good time so until then this was banana soup thank you for watching if you like my stuff like comment subscribe and we will see you next time bye bye